There's a point in time in your life you got to realize this. And I've said this numerous of times to people. Hell doesn't own you. Hell did not create you. Hell does not have permission to break you down and keep you down. You got to rise above it. You got to realize that hell doesn't have a place in your life. But during the course of any challenge that you are facing right now in your life, hell will show up. But hell doesn't have to break you. Hell doesn't have to put you in a position where you don't feel you have nothing else left to give of yourself. You have got to recognize the possibilities within you. Nothing is going to be easy. Nothing is going to be handed to you. You got to go through it. You got to hurt so you can grow. You got to feel it. So if hell does show up, if the devil himself knocks on your door, don't answer it. Don't give it the satisfaction. Make a difference. Move forward. Do something unique in your life. Whatever challenges you are facing, let them come. Whatever obstacles that you face, let them come. How can you grow if everything is easy? How can you grow if everything is handed to you? How can you truly ultimately be a leader in your life if you're not willing to go over the top and get to where you need to be? This is the time right now, ladies and gentlemen. So if you gotta suffer, suffer the right way. If you gotta hurt, hurt a little bit. If you gotta cry, wipe those tears and keep moving. Are you ready for hell? Are you ready to experience a little pain? Are you ready to go through what exactly you signed up for? No one said it was gonna be easy. You are going to experience some kind of pain. You are going to experience some kind of struggle. You are even going to fail at one time or another in your life. Every day is not going to be a successful day for you. When you get yourself in this position, you feel like hell. When you feel that you cannot carry on, you feel like hell. You feel like hell is your best friend because all you talk about all you think about is how much hell you going through. But do you have the strength and the tenacity and the grit to push through hell? You will remember this moment for the rest of your life. Now, here we are. Things are slowly starting to come back. Not saying it's gonna happen overnight. But there seems to be a little of a light at the end of the tunnel. There seems to be an opportunity now. Now what are we gonna do? Are we gonna take it for granted? Are we gonna be more responsible? Are we gonna be more caring? Are we gonna realize that life is beautiful? And now that you have this chance, with all of the circumstances that we have all faced, we're not starting over. We're gonna start up. We're gonna start up right now. We're gonna start caring a little bit more. We're gonna start understanding a little bit more. We're gonna start loving a little bit more. Forget the hate. Forget all the anger. Forget the things that you can't control. It is time for you, me, and the rest of the world to come together. It's time to realize that life is good and you must stop taking it for granted. These things that has happened in our lives, it hit us very hard. It knocked the wind out of us. But we got the chance right now to stand up together and push through it together. Sure, it's gonna be tough. And it's still gonna be a lot of things that we have to endure and a lot of things that we have to overcome. But it's still a chance for us to be great, great as a people, great as a nation, great as a human race. What do we do? You can't blame anybody. We are all guilty. 
of something. We are all responsible for the way it's happened in this world today. And we all must be held accountable. Now what do we do? It's not a moment of worry. It's not a moment of what if. It's a moment of right now.